you guys keep asking me about the Honda Civic Si Audi, and I get why, you know, it's the most expensive R2 class car, and um, I have to say, I don't totally get it. I don't get the Honda Civic Si Audi, because in my opinion, this should have been, you know, as expensive as that is, because, like, the Mazda RX-7 Audi, I mean, the old model anyway, is just one of the best R2 Spirit, and I actually bought a few really nice ones, and it's actually... Uh, it's been heartbreaking actually putting NOS on all of these things, maxing them out, and it's probably gonna be even more painful pink slipping them, but, you know, it's like, I gotta do it for the sake of the series, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and keep one of them, gonna let you guys decide which one I'm gonna keep, um, I'm gonna pink slip the yellow one, but I think I'm probably gonna end up keeping the red one, just because, like, I don't think I ever kept a car from the series, but oh my god, like this car, just, it's so nice. I think I pink slip it initially when it came out and I lost it. Um, this used to be a super expensive car, but you know, uh, the prices did drop. Now it's probably one of the best deals for one of the nicest cars in the game. The release is on mid to late first light and all your shifts are at 8200 RPM. It's pretty consistent, we'll do 6.7s. Just make sure that you don't slam the rev limiter, because if you do, then you're gonna get a 6.8. This is gonna be... Actually, not sure what this is gonna be. Probably a 6.7. I um, think I shifted a bit late on uh, the first gear. 6.7 nonetheless. I mean, this car will be mid to... Uh, yeah, mid to high 6.7s quite frequently. You just make sure that you don't slam the first gear on the rev limiter, because if you do, then you're done. There you go, this is gonna be better. Okay, like as I said, I am a huge fan of this car, really do enjoy it. There you go, cross at 6.720, which generally means that you're gonna get a really good time with this car. And the time's gonna be 6.753, I mean, considering that the world packet is a 6.748. Yeah, this thing is so nice. I so don't wanna pink slip it, because it's gonna be painful if I lose it, but, you know, we gotta do it. Also, the camera is kind of weird on this car, I think it's uh, off-centered a bit. But whatever, we're gonna hop into a lobby. I don't think we're gonna have trouble actually finding pinks. But obviously I'm only gonna pink slip nice stuff in this thing because just, oh my god, just look at it. It's so gorgeous, honestly. I mean, ignore the weird spoiler. Um, but even that, I mean, you know, uh, this car has a lot of character to it. Okay, honestly, I still don't wanna pink slip against slower cars, but this dude, I mean, this is like the third car he challenged me in and I'm, you know, actually considering running this one. Let's see what he wants to do. I just don't want to foul in this thing. I really don't. <clears throat> yes, I am so nervous right now. Okay, let's do this. Missed the launch. I mean, we might still have this, because it's a P1. <sighs> Fuck. I mean, if you miss the launch of this thing, you're still gonna, you're still gonna get a 6.8. Which, you know, c comes in handy in situations like this. Oh my god, I just choked big time, though. Fucking hell. I really don't want to pink slip against slower cards like this, it makes me look like a pussy, you know, but at the end of the day, just fucking look at it, it's so nice, I can't pink slip, you know, fucking normal turfs in this, we got lucky there, he could have beaten our ass. I think that this dude really wants my car, and it's understandable because, you know, I want to keep it, but, um, it's a Mazda versus Mazda, that thing's slower, actually, is it? Now, if you have a really good run, you can still kick my ass. I just hope it doesn't, you know, come to that. Let's go for the perfect launch this time. Oh my god, I am so fucking bad with this thing. I swear to god, please stay behind. Oh my god, why am I so shit on a pink slip? Please, can we, you know, just take it? Like, we were ahead. That's gonna be painful though. Oh my god, there we go. Fuck. <sighs> you know, usually I at least get, you know, fucking perfect launches on things. Not this time around, I mean, you know, shifting was better, but he missed the launch as well, so we got lucky two times in a row there. 
I need I need a freedom, okay? I need a fucking freedom so bad. Oh dude. <clears throat> That's a cool but I mean if you go shift it, you're gonna get a 6.5. If you don't, you're gonna get a mid 6.7, but I'm not playing Slipping versus that, because, you know, odds are, if you're in a Cobra, you're gonna, you know, fucking go shift, so... I'm not gonna fuck with that, but I will take that freedom. Yep. I mean, it wasn't a bank slip, so... You know, I would kind of expect this. There you go, cross at 6.720. And I think he might be sandbagging, which is, you know, kind of hilarious, because... That really doesn't work anymore. I mean, you know, I know what your car can do. Let's take a look at this time. I think it was a good one. Oh my god, that was such a good time. Yeah, he messed up big time there, but I'm still not gonna bang slip versus this. Guess who's back? Same dude. Actually, that's a really nice wrap. Um, I would not bang slip versus a top 100, but, you know, I actually always wanted a wrapped Amber 2. I mean, you know, one of those anyway. So, we're gonna go for this. Just get the fucking launch this time around, I swear. No, I clicked it. We're done. We are very much done. There you go. Oh my god, come on. Fuck. I mean, we got the perfect run. Like, you know, I just, I just choke on a bank slip with this car. So, there you go. He does end up taking my shit with an awful time. Oh my god. Like, come on. That was so easy to beat. Fuck. I mean, you know, it was kind of expected. Anyway, we're gonna ping the green one as well. I'm gonna go back and uh, try and take it. But, I don't know, like, this guy is super nice to drive. I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing in this episode so far. God, like... We should have had that, really. Should have. Not the optimal shifting here, but I think it's still gonna cross at 6.720. No, 6.750, okay. Yeah, that's still fine, but... Yeah, that's a, that's a good time, I'll take that. I mean, we would kick the Amar to his ass with this thing, so... Okay, time to take your shit, seriously. I just, you know, need to watch out for the first gear. <clears throat> Kill me. Just kill me. Kill me. Oh my god. And you know, at least I got, you know, better RPs previously, but... Oh my god, thank you. Thank you. Holy shit, that was close. I mean, you know, shifting was on point, it saved my ass, but... Oh my god. I, I'm not good with pinks on this car. I mean, I am generally good with this car. Just choke like a lot this is gonna be the last run in this video that's a top 25 rx7 so it's an rx7 versus an rx7 and uh just like these cards are even in speed really this has been a pretty interesting episode honestly i mean you know apart from sucking on pretty much every single pink slip this is the last one though. Let's bring it home. We crossed at 6.780 there. How? Like, I generally don't get that. That was... That was pretty much a perfect run as far as I knew. I mean, obviously it didn't end up being, but still. Fuck, that, that was a horrible time, honestly. Jesus. Well, I mean, it seems like I am keeping the red one, but that was actually painful, honestly. Probably to watch as well. God, like... I am so not proud of myself. I mean, we took three cards, but that was... Like, fuck the profit. I mean, just losing those two cards was just the worst fucking thing imaginable, honestly. Uh, I guess I didn't foul, which is something, but still... 
I was hoping for better with that car. Sadly, I mean, I, I think that, you know, the actual just overall fucking pressure got to me here. I'm gonna have another run with this one. Watch it be a 6.7. I just, oh my god, that was pretty much the biggest choke ever on the channel, because every single thing stuff was just painful, pretty much. <sighs> god damn it. And this is why I'm not looking forward to the Civic Si RE, even though, you know, it's, it's like, it's probably even gonna be even worse than this. <sighs> yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching, my name is Jody, and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye.